search. In this module, we will look at how to set up and manage a search and rescue team for a missing diver and what to do in case of suspected decompression illness. Searching for a missing diver. Sometimes the divers don't meet up on the surface after a case of separation underwater. This means that nobody knows where one of the two divers is. In this situation, a diver is said to be missing and a search must be started immediately. If this does happen, as soon as you come to the surface, after making sure there is no sign of your buddy, you must get help immediately, signaling that there is a problem. A search must be organized as soon as possible. In general, the person coordinating the emergency should remain on the boat or shore. This may be the skipper of the boat, the person in charge of the dive, or even yourself, if you are the most experienced diver. Make sure that the missing diver isn't already on board or on the shore. If they aren't, send someone to act as a lookout, preferably with a pair of binoculars so they can look for bubbles or see if the missing diver comes to the surface. If the missing diver is spotted, send someone to assist them immediately. If they are not spotted within one minute, you must activate the sea rescue services. At the same time, try to get as much information as possible from the missing diver's buddy to try to find out exactly where the buddy pair became separated. Organize one or more rescue teams. Each team must be made up of at least two divers and equipped with compasses, lines, dive slates, marker boys, etc. The divers must be experienced and work strictly in buddy pairs. A solo diver is not a team. You can also organize a team to search on the surface with two snorkelers searching the shallower areas. A snorkeler can also be used as a surface member of an underwater team and help to keep general control of the situation and improve communications. Before beginning the searches in the water, a general recall signal should be established. For example, three knocks on the hull of the boat repeated every 10 seconds to stop the search if the missing diver is found or comes to the surface. While the teams are in action, the lookout should continue to search the surface by looking around 360 degrees. Searches should be suspended after a certain amount of time. In general, this time is set at 30 minutes, after which the appropriate authorities will deal with the situation. Underwater search techniques. In the case of a missing diver, the objective of each of the underwater search teams is to make a systematic but fast search of a given area. The U pattern search method, described in the Advanced Open Water Diver PSS course manual, is a valid possibility, particularly if several teams work together at the same time and start from the same point. If each team goes in a different direction, a large area can be covered in a short time. The circular search is also a good alternative, as is the square spiral search pattern. The choice of search method depends on the logistical and environmental conditions. When one of the rescue team finds the missing diver, they must inform the others immediately by signaling to the schnorkeler assisting on the surface or by deploying a surface marker buoy that will be spotted by the lookout. The team that found the missing diver must assess the situation in order to understand what caused the diver to become separated from the buddy and group. If the diver is in difficulty, they must assess their state of consciousness and check that the casualty is breathing. 
If they are not conscious, the procedures described in the previous module should be applied. If they are conscious and breathing, but trapped in some way, their air supply should be checked immediately. If it has nearly run out, one of the rescuers must pass them their auxiliary second stage, while the other rescuer frees the trapped diver. The divers should begin the ascent as soon as possible, making any emergency decompression stops as required. Decompression illness. Any time you have to deal with the recovery of an unconscious diver, always suspect that they may be suffering from decompression illness. Also remember that the diver who recovered the casualty from under the boat may also be at greater risk. Oxygen is the best ally in these situations. As long as the equipment is available and there is someone with the necessary qualifications to administer it. First aid treatment in the case of suspected decompression illness does not differ from that for AGE or an embolism. The difference is whether the casualty is conscious or unconscious. If they are conscious, help them to take off their suit and put on dry clothes and have them lie down or half sit in an area sheltered from the wind. The casualty should drink fluids and breathe normobaric oxygen using the technique explained on the PSS Oxygen in Diving Emergencies course. If they are unconscious, proceed with the procedures for CPR and if possible, use oxygen as explained in the PSS Oxygen in Diving Emergencies course. It is certainly not a bad idea to have your own personal oxygen kit and attend the PSS Oxygen in Diving Emergencies course if you haven't already done so. With only one oxygen kit, in fact, it is only possible to treat just two divers at the same time. In the next module, we will examine how to prepare for and deal with an emergency and take a further look at some aspects concerning an individual's fitness to dive. See you soon.